Hello. Hello, 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 hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to day two, session two of uh, the Golden Goblet series, now featuring Escape from Tarkov. Day one is come and gone, and it looks like your boy Mouth is the winner of the day. Um, I haven't seen Ryan's video. I watched Dan's video, and it looks like Dan actually had me. I did. Again, you, there's something you need to remember when you play this game and the parameters. All the goods that we're getting and then selling, you can get a lot more money for them if you sell specific things to specific traders, but we're selling everything to the fence. So considering that, considering that I made 100,000, uh, I actually felt, you know, like that was okay. Because we didn't run into kind of like any PMCs or uh, a lot of bodies on the ground that weren't already looted, that kind of stuff. You know, I got two kills, which, you know, is okay. And I got some good stuff off of them uh, by chance. I, I was kind of surprised, actually, the, um, the knockoff Jack Daniels whiskey. Oh, hello. Um, give me one second. I don't... I don't th think that's a player. Nope. I'm just not used to them spawning right there. Okay, there is a sniper scav up there. Or I should say they can spawn up there. I don't know for sure. I didn't see when I very quickly looked, but he kind of walks around back and forth up there. And then Scavs also will chill in that area. Anyways, I didn't really get to do much of an intro, but, um, you know, this is still very much anybody's game. Um, Dan has for sure the most overall experience, but I have enough that I feel like I can compete. I like the game. I play... It on stream sometimes, and I, I play, maybe, I don't know if Dan realizes how much I play off stream. I think that's kind of the thing. So if, if he's like, going to underestimate me, it might be for that reason. He doesn't really realize how many hours I actually have in the game. Um, so, yeah, that, um, I'm actually, normally I wouldn't want to keep, I don't like nesting backpacks like this, but, oh, I actually can't fit that. Um, you know what? Oh, I'm an idiot. You do this. This vest isn't really going to get me a lot, but this one will. It should. Anyways, put this like that for now. And you wear those. Can I wear that? Yes, I can. Even better. Okay. So let me just get my bearings straight here. And see how much time do we have. 27 minutes. A good amount of time. Um, for sure, if I can use as much of that, I will. Because the longer we're here, it means the more stuff we can loot or, or maybe the more bodies will come across but at the same time if we find something really really just like astronomical worth I might try to uh, scram a bit a bit early but it depends because some of the things that have crazy worth in this game have only that high worth to certain traders or on the actual market like amongst the players but if you're to try and sell something to the fence, it's it's not as much. For instance, if you, uh, and hopefully you did, if not, shame on you, but you probably watched Dan's perspective, probably even before mine, which, again, very understandable. But he, in his run, he had a, what's a, a lab key card. 
And that's a pretty rare thing. Not the rarest, but it's pretty rare. On If you were to sell it on the flea market, so for other players to, to buy, you would get... Uh, it, it bounces around, again, because it is like a sort of an economy and all that stuff and supply and demand and blah, blah, blah. But anywhere between, typically, it's like 150,000 to 200,000 rubles, right? But the the fence is uh, like a flat rate, I think, on it. I don't know if it fluctuates. If not, like, I mean, I never would sell a key card to the, to the fence. But I wanted to check and see how much Dan would have made from that if he had successfully exfilled. And so it was when I went to check to see how much he'd buy mine for, it was 30,000 rubles. So you you could make upwards of 200,000 rubles on the market. And if you're actually to sell the same key card to different traders in the game, like uh, I think the therapist will buy it and some of the other ones may, um, they'll buy it for still not 200,000, but I think the therapist might even be like 60 or 70,000 rubles, which is, you know, better than the, than the fence, right? So it's kind of, it's kind of a, an interesting way of, of doing the, uh, the series here or the, the, the Tarkov segment because... Some stuff that I'd be normally like crazy, like, oh my god, it's a it's a lab key card, but actually, you know. It's not as much of a okay, I have to I have to exit immediately. Right? Because most people aren't used to selling items to the fence because he buys everything. But because of that, he buys it for very cheap. It's like, okay, nobody else is gonna buy this, so I know at least I can get a few bucks. <laughs> from him so i was kind of surprised like the 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 whiskey that i got sold for fifteen thousand. um and it is like a what do you call it like oh this is this is loaded as well eh there might be scraps no um so yeah i don't know it's kind of uh kind of interesting for sure. It's got me playing the game a little bit differently than I, I normally would. Um, in this map, Shoreline, it's it's predominantly outside, uh, just kind of on top of the hill. You can't really see it, but up there, it's like this big, large building. It's got like two wings and then like a central admin area. It's called the, the resort. That is where you get like that's where all the, the players will go. You know, they'll get kind of kitted up with their best gear and guns and stuff, and they'll they'll go and, and duke it out there, typically. Because there's a lot of rooms that have some valuable, valuable items. But it's not so good for a scav run because those rooms are all locked behind a key. So you need the key to get in them. So unless we spawn in with like the exact key, which is going to be exceptionally rare, um, or we were to find it on this map or find it on a player, um, I feel like it's not really worth my time to go there. Uh, you know, we could find some, yeah, there's the building up there. We could find some scraps uh, off of uh, some bodies. So you, you never know, like maybe there is a great fight. And everybody died and nobody got the loot. You know, that, that kind of stuff does happen in this game. Um, you know. But in terms of a, a competitive sort of situation, I'm just going to go more... More on the side of tried and true, I guess. Because if I run into an actual player with this SCAD build, you know, this is not like a terrible gun, I guess, but... What kind of ammo are we using? A PS ammo. Okay, so <laughs> any gun is is maybe terrible when you're using PS ammo. It's it's not very good. And by not very good, I mean like kind of if you're picking for the dodgeball team or or something like that, PS is maybe gonna get picked last. Um, 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. I have a bit of a route I go on on Shoreline. I'm not unfamiliar with this map. I, I like it a decent amount. Uh, I kind of, even when I'm going on this map to like try and get loot or things, I don't go to the resort. Even though I have a bunch of the keys. I I, I actually like this. We're going to go there in a minute, but it's the the weather station up there there's a that's the radar station i think there's some loot there maybe but i don't mm, no actually there might be like a bag or something but nothing too crazy um but yeah there's a couple uh, hidden stashes on this map that i would like to get because in Nearly all of my experience, the ones that I'm going to right now are never looted. So they added, uh, yeah, stashes in this game. Somebody's probably back at the resort shooting. They added stashes in this game in this update. So basically every map has these like really well hidden areas. It's kind of like underground containers that... You're not going to see unless you're right there, unless you're standing on it, right? Um, so a lot of these, well, pretty much all the stashes I've learned of through people. <laughs> um, it looks like we, I might have jinxed myself. I think the stashes are probably going to be looted. Um, if a body is right there, but we'll see. So you think, you know, that kind of looks obvious, but like if you're not actually looking for it, you're not going to see it. Or if you walk over it, I think it has kind of like a, you know, a wooden thuddy sort of sound. All right. Um, and the, honestly, like the stashes are pretty good for rare stuff. Things like, you know, statues or certain quest items and such. There's actually a pretty good... Uh, chance of finding them i found a lot of good stuff in them so if i'm ever in this area i like to just check them out one because most people don't know about them or they're not going to go out of their way for them i mean there are more stashes on this map i'm not going to hit all of them up but um oh that's good because i can hold that in my pistol uh area you know we're gonna have to drop some stuff like this this yushanka i'm gonna drop that probably um because it takes up four spots and it's really not worth much but uh until i get some other stuff we'll, we'll keep it um but yeah i don't know it's just kind of worth it to come over here because i've never opened up those two and been like oh somebody already looted them there's one now the one, the first one that we looted, that one I find is more commonly opened already. But yeah, they're more all around the map, and they're they're pretty nifty. And in in a, in a competition like this, you kind of wanna I want to hit up the the spots I know that are less likely to be looted because yeah, it's not gonna be top of the line, the rarest of the rare, but It'll be something. And because it's not the top of the line loot, there's less, uh, you know, actual players or other player um, scavs that'll be in the area looking for this stuff. So it's probably just a bit safer, to be honest. That said, where I'm going, I'm going up here. Uh, I probably should run a little bit more, but it's kind of been a nice little uh, podcasty sort of thing. But, uh, there are scavs that, uh, AI scavs that spawn up here. So even if the loot is looted, there is a chance that, um, you know, if we get a couple kills, we can take whatever gear they have on them. And sometimes that's pretty decent stuff. So I got to be careful though, because I did already shoot a scav. One thing I have, I know of, and I've only experienced it really once or twice, but like, so as soon as you kill one AI scav, like, the other scavs will aggro on you. But there's, like, a range, I've been told. I don't 
remember what it is. And I don't even know if there might be like a duration, but like if you were to kill a scav a thousand meters away, maybe it's like much more than that, but um and then you go to another area and there's scavs, they might not auto That's at the power station, I believe. Um yeah, I'm definitely gonna just like drop that now. I don't know how much the aquamarine is worth. Some of these things... I hope he's not coming this way. That looks... Takes up one spot. I don't know exactly what that is, but it looks high-tech-ish. <laughs> um... I don't remember what I was saying. But yeah, basically, like, sometimes you can kill scavs, but if it's far enough away or, like, a long enough time ago that they, the aggro might go away. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna assume that they're, uh, they're aggro to me, plus I want their loot. That's good eating right there. We actually, yeah, we might even end up, like, using it. I'm gonna drop that one shell, because it's taking up space. So the thing is, you know, people do come here to loot, though, uh, because there's a safe and a computer. And those two weapon crates, so I kind of want to be quick about this because the gunshots we're hearing. Ooh, Condi milk. Um, you know, they may end up coming this way after. I don't know. Wait. Um... That's only four bullets. That's not worth it. Um, it's not worth anything these days. I don't even think the palm juice is worth it, but... Is that already loaded? That one is, too. Yeah... We got beat to it. The crazy thing is, I mean, there's those two weapon crates, right? There. Well, I guess they could have been looted, but when we only got those small little parts. Let me see if this is looted. Because you can find gold chains in these, which would be very nice. Or, you know, keys, actually. I found some pretty rare keys. Don't know how much that one's worth, but I'll take it. Any key I'm pretty much guaranteed gonna take. Some of them are duds and really not worth too much, but. And honestly, the palm juice, apple juice, I'll probably just actually consume when I need more space. Yeah. So yeah, most people will come here, they'll definitely go for the safe and the computer. Ooh. Oh, the problem is I can't sell that money to <laughs> to the fence. $61 is, I don't know what the conversion to rubles is, but. Thought I heard somebody. It's not insignificant, but. <gasps> All right. That, I'm trying to remember what that would normally go for in general so maybe 30,000 rubles f maybe 40 or 50 I, 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 mm, maybe 20 I imagine we probably get like five grand for that guy I don't know from the fence um, trying to think uh, actually let's just get rid of that Now I leave. I am going to just in case check this. He might have just gone for the safe. Oh, I think I already checked it. Okay. Now it is time to proceed. I didn't even look where I'm exfilling. 
Uh, ruined Road. Okay, so those are Ruined Road. I like. Um, so yeah, I mean the reason I'm kind of shocked. I mean the weapons crates are. You know, they were probably looted and he just didn't take it because they weren't guns. But there's a, a key spot up there that um, I actually got once, only once, but once. It was it was on this server, or like after the the last server wipe, and then you know, on this server instance, I, I'm trying to think of the right words, but basically I got it <laughs> on uh, my current like character, my current leveling. And progression and it's worth uh, at least at the time you know the values changed um, a fair bit but it was worth north of 700,000 rubles for a key and that's one slot you know so I'm always surprised when people don't go up there but at the same time I guess it you know you're going up a bunch of stairs you're making a lot of noise so if you're up there and then somebody's at the bottom, you're kind of like maybe screwed. <laughs> but um, I think maybe just a lot of people don't know about it. That's the other thing about this game. Even people that have hundreds of hours and stuff like that, they tend to stick to certain pathways, certain areas of the maps. So when they're in different areas, maybe they're not uh, only 10 minutes. What? Okay, I gotta speed this up a bit. I mean, I have been walking rather than running, but if I'm running while talking, it's it's hard for me to uh, like focus, and I'm just gonna end up running into somebody that is gonna shoot me in the face. So now the office is probably looted. There's a body right there, so uh, I'm gonna put money on the office being looted. That's going to sell for more than that. Honestly, I don't know how much you'll buy the apple juice for, and it takes up two slots, so. Might as well just drink it. Stay hydrated, sip your friends. Okay. For where we have to go, you know, eight minutes is... AKM. That's definitely worth more than this. So what we do is you take the flashlight off because that's worth monies. Oh, I'm a fool. I am a fool. This bag takes up more space. Oh, I hear a scab. Better run, you coward. And by better run, I mean come back. Seven minutes. Hold on. Yeah, the whole backpack thing. I, I'm a fool. I, I'm mad I didn't realize that before, but I um, can definitely wear that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Do a little switcheroo. Put that there. Get rid of that for a second. Just putting this stuff on him so I can drop this bag. That's, that's probably really not worth much, but I hear another scab. Got him. Man, I hate iron sights.
What are you talking about? What do you mean no space? What do you mean no space? It's a banana. Please get up, get up. Um, every scav in the world is here. <laughs> I should have done more surveillance, but like... Oh, that's a good cat. Do that. Check pockets for rares. Um, that's a pretty good cat, too. It's going to be worth more than that, and it's just more useful to me right now. Uh, okay. Five minutes. Still plenty of time. Uh, flashlight? Yeah. Ooh, and a red dot. Let's go. Um, What do you get rid of? You get rid of that. Take that. You get rid of that. And you take that. Okay. Um, Is that helmet worth... Removes a bit of my hearing, but. All right, and we still got that other body I need to get. Well, that's a, that's a decent get. I will drop you and you and, oh, geez, oh, geez. What's worth more? Ah, oh, geez. Uh, drop you and you. good no but we'll take an extra backpack it's probably an extra few thousand there to be honest with you all right i'm gonna get the other body in a minute but first i want to check the there's a safe in here not a lot of people know it's it's safe to check now because this fire used to hurt you like almost kill you but then they removed it, so it looks like it's been checked. But I am very quickly just going to look in case, because they might have left, like, something they couldn't carry since we're here. Yeah. Three minutes. Let me check this one body. Which is right here. Oh, that's a big vest. That is a big vest. Quickly. Quickly now. Quickly, 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 quickly. I don't think I can fit that. Don't worry about it. I wish I could take it, but I can't. Not without dropping some other stuff. Oh, that's a good hat, though. That hat is probably worth more than that. Um, there you go. And I think that's worth more. And we go. Two minutes. It's basically got to run to the other end of the road. I would have liked to have uh, looted this little, uh, you'll see it on the left when we get towards the end, but there's like a, a ship and, and a little kind of, it's called Scav Island. Is it technically an island? Actually, I think it is, but the ship actually connects it. The ship acts as a little bridge you can, uh, you can walk on, but, uh, I mean, there's, like, there's a stash, 
There's uh, a few like weapons crates. There's a couple medical bags. There's a couple other like lesser quality crates. Oh man. There is a chance I don't make it. See, I, I can see a scav. He's walking. This will be so exceptionally close. Man. I am not going to make it. That's just not cool, man. Oh, man. Pepe. Pepe. Pepe, no! Oh, that kills me. Literally MIA. This is weird. Why is it still letting me go? This is where I had to go. Um, if this works, I'm confused because normally it would just fade to black. I don't know if there was some kind of server desync or, uh, or some weird, I mean that the game isn't perfect and the servers are definitely not perfect. So if I did make it, like I'm happy, but also I won't be surprised if it's like, no, you didn't. Just because it's the game's got some issues for sure, you know it's not it's not a full final release. Um, uh, raid ended early termination. What? Your kill list? <laughs> okay, I'm so confused. I'm glad I didn't do something reckless. I almost uh, turned and just like took shots at this the scav on the little island to our left there, and I was like, well, there's no way I'm making it there, and you know, 30 seconds. Like, how long was I actually... I think I was technically... If you're looking at the timer... I was late by... Um, what? 15, 20 seconds? Something. I mean, it wasn't... Too crazy, but... I played that pretty slow, honestly. Like, once I get talking, I get a little distracted. So I should have been running from, like, place to place a lot more than I was, but... Um, let's see if we get to keep the gear. And then if that's the case, then I can sell it, right? Like, there are, like, with the X-Fills, sometimes, yo, sometimes there are, you'll be in an area, you know, when, when I was, I was sitting there waiting and it does a little green bar and it counts down, like, you know, seven, six, five, four. Sometimes, in, when you're in an exfil, it won't even show that. So you think that it's like you're not exfilling or whatever. So the exfils and stuff can be kind of bugged, and I I guess the server time can be bugged. That's the first time I've ever. I mean, I don't. I rarely go MIA. I'm usually exited with you know at least a couple minutes to spare, or I get killed. The one or two times that I've gone MIA, you just, it kind of fades to black and you lose. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's take a minute here to, to, to take apart our goodies. Um, and sell them. The, the, the two, you know, the AKs was a good get. And getting the, um, that hat isn't bad. This, this rig is, is nice too. Just take everything out of that. 
Actually, I like this ammo. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to eat that, but I was thinking like, well, I might actually need it if we're going to fight any more scavs. Um, and then, the, you know, getting the, the two backpacks was nice. I don't, the PSU, I don't know how much he's going to buy that for. It's kind of like a big and heavy thing, but I'm not sure he's going to buy it for a ton. The the condensed milk is also normally worth like probably twenty thousand, but um, who knows what the fence is gonna pay for it? I'm gonna unload the ammo on pretty much everything here. Um, take apart all the guns. Let's see here. Unload. <sighs> it's a bit of a mess. I apologize for that. Unload. And we can take this guy apart. And I also like to take these guys apart. Oops. I think I put it in there. Yes. The, the thing is, you know, if you can't carry a gun, but a gun's got a flashlight, you know, tactical light on it, take it off. It takes up one slot, but, um, you know, they're usually worth a good chunk of change to, to most uh, dealers. Um, you double check the bags, you double check that, you double check that. The Grizzly, I mean, I, I wish I want to keep that for myself. It's, it's full 1,800 out of 1,800. But uh, we'll see how much he buys that for. And the statue. I want. Um, before we go in, I want to see like what do I think is gonna go for the most money to to the fence. It might be the horse statue. I think I'd probably probably say that myself, but. You know, here's your chance to put in the comments what you think is going to sell for for the most. Yeah, the PSU. No, I doubt it's the PSU. Could be one of the base guns, but... Okay, so we go trading. Uh, fence. Sell. So that's 3400 Oh, wow, not even close. I was thinking before, like, maybe 5000 but then, yeah. The bag is worth 4400 so I'm glad I stacked it. Yo, 8,500 for the Triton. AKMS is, uh, you know, without all, all the parts off, that's 8,300. This little guy, 5,600, okay. Okay, yeah, that's worth 6,500. PSU, definitely not worth the space it took up. So, at 2,300, you're looking at, uh, you know... A bit over 550 rubles per square. Whereas like this, this ball of clava, that's 776 uh, for one square. A grenade, 2600, right? Look at this, this site, 3700. So, you know, the hat, the hat, you know, some of these things are, yeah. Where's the flashlights at? 4700. This one's not as good, but it's still 2700. So... Let's pile it all up in there. That key is 3,300. Even the bad keys are typically, I mean, it's going to be worth the one slot, right? Because even the cheap keys are still going to fetch you a few thousand. We're going to have to probably do this in two chunks. The Condi Milk, 7,400, all right. Yeah, that guy's worth 2,500, so. Okay. A hundred and three thousand six seven seven. So, 103, 6, 7, 7. There's the money. Put it right there. $2,500. 
28065. All right, so you see that is 131,742 rubles. A bit better than yesterday. Um, and the real kicker is I could have gotten some decent loot from the Scav Island because there was a living Scav, so we could have killed him and taken his his goodies. And there is a stash on that island which can have some good stuff. The couple weapon crates. Not a lot of people will um will go in and uh, check that out. You know, there's been a good amount of times that even in the dying minutes of the raid, I you could go there and you're like, what? Nobody's been here? So we, we could have made even more, potentially, but, you know, I'm alive. We got out with 131,742 rubles. Not bad. Not bad. And then where did I put... I think I put it in a wallet somewhere, maybe. Where is it? Where is it? Hmm. I don't know. I don't have a lot of money. So it's kind of scary that I lost it. No, that's from something else. Anyways, doesn't matter. I feel okay with that effort, um, to be honest. But like I said, there's a little bit of RNG involved. You never know what you're going to come across in a, in a raid. So we'll see how, uh, how we do. But uh, at least I know I'll, f uh, I'll feel okay. You know, win, win or loss today, I feel like, you know what? I did, uh, I did okay. I did better than yesterday. And I won yesterday, so. Anyways, I'm rambling and I'm talking circles and all that business. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for, for hanging. And, and uh, I and uh, I know the rest of the crew, we really appreciate any and all support. For the golden goblet series so if you are liking it and you want to see us uh play you know do it more in general and see more games and and things added to it um you know the best way to show that is high engagement you know lots of interaction comments likes and and all that even if the comment is just like dude I'm so pogged out of my mind i thought you were dead you defied time death was chasing you and you said no you know you could put that kind of stuff in the comments too like get pogged up and uh it makes it it makes it fun for us too but uh yeah good times i will see you uh tomorrow for the next one until then peace out